Now, what is an ethics committee or an institutional review board? Different terminology exists throughout the world. In Europe, we tend to call these bodies an ethics committee, research or medical ethics committee, MEC. In the U.S., we tend to call these committees institutional review boards, which are usually directly linked to a hospital and an independent review committee for the privately held ethics boards, usually covering private practices, but also multi-center clinical investigations. Whatever they are called, these bodies or committees must operate in an independent matter from any other party involved in a clinical investigation. Their main responsibility is the review of the clinical investigation design and methodology to protect subjects' rights, safety, and well-being. In order to safeguard the safety of the subjects involved in a clinical investigation, the reviewers of the EC, or IRB, must examine the suitability of the investigators to conduct a given investigation as well as the suitability of the facilities. Now, this may be easy to do if an EC or IRB is directly linked to a hospital or an academic institution, but a specific procedure should be in place for those independent ethics boards covering reviews of sites spread throughout a given country. For example, a centralized institutional review committee in the U.S. located in California may need to review clinical investigations to be conducted in a site in Boston or Florida and still be confident that the clinical investigation can safely be conducted in those sites, whom they may not know as well as their local sites. Further, ECs or IRBs review the suitability of the methods and materials used. This may be difficult, as medical technology tends to evolve in a very rapid manner and become more and more complex. EC or IRB members must also be able to judge the appropriateness of the study design. For example, is it ethical to ask in a randomized clinical investigation that one of the groups remains without treatment for a certain time? Or is it acceptable to ask for twice as many x-rays in one subject over the follow-up time compared to normal standard care? But usually, most comments raised by the reviewers are on the content of the informed consent.